Hello, my night friends. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Uh, today I have for you a uh, Spyderco Manix 2. It's a River's Edge Cutlery exclusive. And uh, this knife comes with the CTS 24 204P stainless steel blade. And it has the flat dark earth PVD coating on it. Uh, with the olive drab G10 scales. And uh, this knife uh, has skeletonized black liners. I think um, the previous versions did not have skeletonized uh, liners, or maybe just the S30V versions have a, a full uh, a liner that's not skeletonized on it. And um, there was only 800 of these made, if I'm not wrong, uh, what I've been told. And uh, when I went online to buy this knife, um, I went on there as soon as they dropped it. So I uh, I picked it up right away. But I w after I was done buying this knife, after I made my purchase, uh, it was about three or four minutes after uh, I got done uh, buying this knife, I looked back on there and they were all sold out. So they sold out like in three to five minutes uh, time or so, uh, very quickly. I bought it because I really like the color and um, I think it's just a great looking knife with the olive drab uh, micarta and everything with the with the black liners. And here's how the knife looks like. I think that's real nice. Uh, the Manix uh, 2 uh, uh, knife I was kind of uh, leery about because I'm not a, a fan of like uh, uh, finger choils and handles and stuff on knives. I kind of like them plain. Uh, but uh, this is one exception. The Manix 2 is a, a knife that uh, it has the cutouts here for the finger grooves and everything. But when you hold this knife it just melts right into your hand where you don't even notice it. That's how good this knife is. And then it's got the choil here. You can put your finger up here and do some more cutting. So it fits really nice in the hand. Nice ergonomics on this knife. And what you have uh, probably noticed is that hey, there's something different about your Manix 2. And what is that? And that is this here, the uh, Flytanium Copper cage lock that I have installed into the knife. Now there's uh, videos on YouTube how to do this uh, so I'm not going to go into that into detail show you how it's done but basically you remove uh, the screws on this side and this uh, one screw over here and uh, you slide the scales down so you'll sc you will slide the scale down here and then the, you'll slide the liner out and then, uh, then you just uh, do some stuff here with the blade where you rotate the blade up and you can just pull this out. It's kind of tricky, uh, so you have to take your time with it. Uh, but I think it's worth it because look how nice this uh, exclusive looks with the, with the copper uh, cage lock. And I know you can get these in green and blue and uh, silver color, So, but I thought the copper one would look the best... Uh, to match this uh, uh, earth tone uh, blade here and the handle color. Yeah, so this is the River's Edge uh, Cutlery Manix 2 exclusive. Uh, it's a nice one. Now, how much does this knife uh, weigh? Let's see here. Okay, so this knife weighs 4.33 ounces, so I don't know if that is less than um, the regular Manix 2 with the uh, liners that are not skeletonized, but uh, I don't know about that because I don't have another Manix 
to compare this one with uh, as far as weight goes. So it comes in this box like this here, and I got this decal here. Uh, only you can prevent dull knives, which is pretty cool. A decal. So it comes with the box, and you get the sticker, the Spiderco uh, sticker with it, and the description that I just told you about here. Congratulations on your purchase of this limited edition exclusive version of the Spyderco Manix 2. And it comes in this bag like all the knives do. And here's the original uh, cage lock. It's kind of flexible. So it's uh, I'm not going to take it out of the bag. But it's a, it's a plastic, but it's a kind of a fl flexible plastic. So I'm sure it's pretty uh, tough and it'll last you, but um, I don't know. I just like the Flytanium uh, cage lock uh, for this knife. I think it really makes it stand out really nice uh, with the Flytanium copper uh, cage lock. I think a brass one would look good on here too. So a brass or, a, or the copper one, but I like the copper. It's a little bit like deeper in color. So what do you think? Well, that's my review, short review of this knife. And um, I hope you have a nice day. And you guys take care. And uh, have a great day.